Welcome to Manny's TV Talk, where we will talk about all of our favorite reality TV shows and news surrounding them. Grab a snack, a drink, and get comfortable because this starts now. In here, while well, some are making power moves. I've been manifesting getting my products into a beauty store. We would be happy to have you in here. Others take their power back. Being beaten, I said to myself, this is not something that I'm going to put up with any. Yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back. Today, we're going to be talking about the new episode of Basketball Wives LA, Season 11, Episode 9. The first scene of this episode is the OGs, Jackie and Evelyn at a cool Mexican restaurant. Evelyn was speaking a little Spanish. Jackie was trying to learn. Oh my gosh, I love Jackie. It was great vibes. Then Jackie says, what about that Arizona trip? Evelyn still does not feel bad for snatching Cleona's wig, and Evelyn thinks that Cleona has some deep-rooted issues and probably won't ever have a conversation with her again. As far as uh, Vanessa, Jackie thinks it was very nice for Evelyn to be able to be there and to hold Vanessa at a, in Arizona. Evelyn thinks that there's so much that Vanessa is going through, and speaking of which, they then... Then Vanessa arrives with them as well at the restaurant. I didn't know that Vanessa had another child from a previous marriage before Isaiah, but she did. She shares that. Evelyn asked Vanessa what would she like to do for herself? Like, what does she envision herself doing now that she's here in L.A. Um, looking for opportunities? Besides the gym that they have in Arizona, something that's truly her passion. And Vanessa says she's still trying to figure that out. Evelyn says that whatever she ends up um, finding, they're going to be there to support her. Evelyn is also going to do an event for women that have experienced domestic violence, so she's inviting her to that. Next up is Giselle. She FaceTimes her son who was back in Mississippi. He plays basketball. I think he's like 10 or something. Um, she clearly misses him. This is the first time that she will be missing a game of his. So she's letting him know that she is supporting him and that she is there in spirit and that she loves him very much. It was really sad to see her cry because she wasn't going to be there. Okay, moving on. Brittany and Evelyn meet up at the park. Brittany saw her son recently, so that's good. So, Evelyn and Brittany hadn't seen each other since Arizona. So, Evelyn tells Brittany that it really hurt her that Brittany didn't go to the breakfast the last day of the trip. And she wants to know what was Brittany trying to say by not going. Brittany says that she doesn't like what Jen did. Jen is not a fighter, so she needs to shut the F up and stop antagonizing Kleana, says Brittany. She also says that at the club, Kleana really didn't come with any bad energy that uh, would make Jennifer react to her for singing that song and call her a hoe. Evelyn says that she will agree that Jen has a mouth on her, but again, Kleana did throw her shoes and run towards her. Evelyn says that it could have been anyone. It was just a natural instinct to protect Jennifer. It really would have been anyone that she would have snatched their wig as well. Brittany says that she sees that friendships and dynamics in this group are a little weird and different, and she says that to be honest, she really doesn't feel like she fits in. She feels like she doesn't know her place in the group, so Evelyn says that she will will try to incorporate her better into the group so that she feels part of it and also invites her to the event that she's doing. Also, this is just me as a guy. There's been a few confessionals where Brittany has been looking fine as hell. But okay, then we have this scene with Vanessa and her sister. Vanessa tells her about the big breakthrough that she had with Evelyn in Arizona. She broke down and Evelyn embraced her. But here's the thing, Vanessa doesn't want Evelyn to be under the impression that Isaiah has ever put his hands on her, like that there was some sort of uh, situation like that because there hasn't. But there might have not been a situation like that, but Vanessa clearly has a lot of struggles in her marriage. The sister says Vanessa needs to be happy and that she hates seeing her in pain. And just when Vanessa talks about the marriage, she could see how much she's how much pain she's carrying so it's really sad and the sister wants Vanessa to um, heal that not just for her own sake but for the children like the children want to see her their mom be happy and Vanessa agrees then there's another scene with Giselle also FaceTiming but this time is her mom and she just wanted to say that she appreciates and loves her mom because she did have sort of a breakthrough and a realization about her mom when they were at the shaman in Arizona she might have judged her a little bit too much growing up and she didn't really understand her working a lot for them but now that she's a mother she definitely understands that she also talks about her expanding her hair business which 
which is great. And the next scene, Lavon is visiting. He's here in LA, and he's with Evelyn. They might not be proceeding with the wedding and stuff, but they still really like each other's company. Lavon, I've said this before, he's such a cool dude. He brings Evelyn. So apparently Evelyn has a bodysuit online. And a lot of the, the suits that she actually has worn on the show are from her line. I think the one that she wore when she met up with Brittany earlier is from her line as well. So LaVon brought some great ideas, a pop-up shop, some graphics, and Evelyn loves the idea to make something about that and involve the girls. Evelyn also wants to have a double date with Jennifer and Christian, so that will be interesting. So then Brittany goes on some sort of date. The guy looked very young, though. He looked like he could be one of my homies in college. He brought some flowers for Brittany. He was really happy to be on that date. And he has a good business. Um, he had, he spent a lot of his time making money, but now he wants to focus on relationships and stuff like that. He is 24, so I knew he was young. Um... I do think that was sort of a turn off for Britney because she's 31 and has a son. So I get it. And she doesn't want to really date someone that's younger than her baby daddy. And he doesn't want kids and wants to have some. So I feel like, a, I, I don't know. I don't want to speak for her, but I do feel like maybe a lot of these chicks that end up having kids with basketball players, I do think it must be hard for them to, from going from a basketball player, even though they they did them wrong to go to a normal guy there might be something about that but anyway they get strapped on and go on a zip and slide that was pretty fun and we'll see if they get a second date so then we switch to the double date with Evelyn and Jennifer. This is the first time that Jennifer will be meeting LaVon. Jennifer talks a little bit about the new dog that they got. And they ask LaVon why he chose Evelyn, which a lot of us saw their journey on Queen's Court, which is on Peacock. Jennifer is impressed that LaVon is very much a gentleman, unlike Evelyn's other exes. Then the guys go to the bar and the ladies stay in the table. And Jennifer says that he seems great, but what does he think about Evelyn not wearing her ring and not really proceeding with the wedding preparation and Evelyn says that he's okay with it like he's patient he's kind gentle caring and in hindsight knowing that they did break up it sucks you know Moving right along, Giselle and Jennifer go over to some hair supply store. Giselle is there because she's going to be getting her products into the store. So that's pretty exciting. She shows some of the products and what they do and gives a little bit of the origin story and why she decided to do it. It's really inspiring. The store would be more than happy to carry the products, which is a pretty big deal because this is the first store in LA that will be carrying them, or just the store in general because up to this point, she just had them online. So if any of you women who use some of these hair products, y'all support her. I really like Giselle and I like what she's doing. Okay, moving on to Evelyn's event. She wants everyone to be comfortable and be able to share things in a safe space. She had some two ladies there that are part of the foundation that she's it with working with and they're going to be there to talk about women and issues that they go through particularly latina and black women the other ladies began to arrive brooke jen jackie giselle Brittany and Vanessa do arrive as well. Evelyn starts by telling them her story. So they're all sitting in a circle. You know, she got pregnant very young and dealing with men who would tell her that she would never be anything in life. She has been kicked, punched. She remembers one time being chased with a loaded weapon in some, uh, in some dude's car. She was headbutt which that's an incident that a lot of people know about. Growing up, she saw her aunt stab her boyfriend because he was beating her. She she's um she came from a very toxic and sad situation so until one day she decided that it was going to be enough and that's why she's putting her energy towards this foundation so it shows that evelyn like i said came from a negative environment and i do think that her opening up like this helps us understand a little bit more about evelyn and who she is and i commend her for sharing this then they ask the others if they want to share. Jennifer says that she did go through verbal mental abuse. We saw her getting a drink thrown at her face. Brittany also shares that a former boyfriend would body shame her and they would get into screaming matches and she would notice that he would get a little bit like a little pushy and or grab her a little bit to tie where some bruises were starting to show and then Vanessa goes she says that she had three near-death experiences one time she was in a car that was covered in bullets she 
could have lost her life, but this was before she got married. And she talks a little bit more about other traumas. Jackie and Brooke mentioned that maybe her previous relationships and traumas are the reason why Evelyn doesn't want to move on with LaVon. And I think this is 100% the reason why I do believe it because I up to, think about it, what she shared with us. I don't think she's ever had a healthy relationship and she finally has one, which is one of the reasons why she might be afraid. You know, it's psychologically, it's, it's a whole thing. But that was the end of the episode. Listen, nothing dramatic, no fights, no whatever, but it was a very powerful episode. And I hope that this inspired someone who was watching it. I'm sure it did. But that's what we got this episode. We will be here next week talking about the next one. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this episode. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll catch y'all next time. Y'all have a great one. Bye.